Hello and welcome to your notices. I am Lewis, one of your friendly youth, enjoying the fact it's Cake Sunday. Do you want one of these? Um, this Saturday, we have Christy Wimber coming to join us for a conference on the evening of Friday the 17th of May and in the daytime of, 18th of, of the 18th of May. Christy Wimber, Christy has a heart for helping people grow in their love for, of Jesus and desire to share his name. Equipping people and the church for their Christian life. The conference is looking at the values of our God, God's eye and how we can communicate that with others. The coffin, conference will cost only £15. If the cost is a problem, please speak to Mones. The gathering is on Saturday the 18th of May at 6pm till 8pm on the evening, an evening of worship with food and refreshment. We will also have Christy Wimber with us at this event. Why not think about inviting your friends along? Starting on Thursday the 30th of May to Sunday the 9th of May, we are going to be joining with others across the world to pray. Take a look at this video. God placed on the Archbishops of Canterbury and York's heart the importance of evangelism and witness. And of course, this must start in prayer. So in 2016, the Archbishops of Canterbury and York put out a call to prayer. The message was to the Anglican Church worldwide to pray for people to come to faith in Jesus Christ. They decided this should happen between Ascension to Pentecost, drawing on the traditional times of prayer as the disciples did in Acts 1 and 2. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. Then they returned to Jerusalem and were constantly devoting themselves to prayer. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. Before long, Roman Catholics, Methodists, Baptists and many other denominations across the world began to join in Thy Kingdom Come, rediscovering the richness of this historic tradition. Momentum quickly built up, with Christians in different countries around the world beginning to pray together during these 11 days for five people they knew to become Christians. Year on year, more Christians joined the global wave of prayer gathering to pray in small groups, churches, families, and as individuals. Prayer took place everywhere, in the streets and in church buildings, in schools and in community spaces, in homes and on public transport, all over the place. Sometimes they prayed continuously for the 11 days, and other times they prayed in the mornings and evenings, or as a family together, or an individual saying a five minute prayer on the go. People gathered to pray and celebrate, irrespective of their ecumenical differences. Roman Catholics and Methodists, Pentecostals and Anglicans, Baptists and Orthodox, side by side praying for the presence of the Holy Spirit to work in them for others. Now Christians in more than 100 countries are uniting in this prayer. Come Holy Spirit, let your kingdom come during this time. Will you join us? More details to come, what we'll be doing. This week is Christian Aid Week. Pick up a leaf from the back of the church with the details of what's going on and join in. Don't forget you can pray with us every day of the week. Dates and times in the notice sheet and online. Please keep an eye on our social media page and a notice sheet to keep up to date with church life. Hope you have a good week. Enjoy Cake Sunday. Bye.